Welcome back for sports. The climb for a spot in the conference championship was not going to be an easy one for either LSUA or Louisiana Christian, especially after losing early in the tournament. Both teams would have to battle through the, win the loser's bracket to keep their season alive, but the Rapids rivalry being renewed today in Sterlington as one's team's run was going to come to an end. And for the fourth and final time this season, our local rivals going head to head. No game, though, bigger than this one. First team all-conference selection, Jordan Ardwan gets it going with the base hit past the third baseman, bringing home Cameron Day early 1-0 lead for the Jins. Later in the game, it's Ardwan back at the plate, shooting it back up the middle and Blaze Foot coming around home. It's 2-0 LSU 8. Here in the third, freshman breaks the game open. Zach Mangarelli rockets this one back up the middle for his first home run of the season, all part of a six-run inning. How about very next at bat? It's Mangarelli going yard once again. He hits not only his first, but his second career collegiate home run as the Generals eliminate their rivals with a big 13-0 win. But the job would not be done. The Generals took down the two-seed. Now they will have to eliminate the one seed, LSU Shreveport, to advance to the championship. And first inning, it's Ardwan once again to the outfield. That would bring home Zach Mangarelli for the first score of the game. Same inning, same score. Pass ball by the Pilots allows Blaze to score. It's 2-0 Generals early lead here. But like any great team, Shreveport found a way to respond. This roller through the right side, giving the Pilots a 6-4 lead. But in the bottom of the seventh, Julian Kleber says goodbye baseball way back on this bomb, giving the Generals a 7-6 lead. LSUA would end it on a game-winning double play, and the Generals win three games in the span of 24 hours to secure a spot in the conference championship tomorrow afternoon. I mean, I wasn't going for the homer, but um, I was just trying to get on base and uh, just get a team AB in and uh, it just turned out right for us so uh, I'm just glad that uh, we got this dub today and that was a big part of it. We never feel like we're out of it. Uh, we know we can compete with anybody in the country and so um, just believing in ourselves, believing that we can do it uh, and then coming out tonight uh, it's just proving that we're still moving in the right direction. We're still playing really well right now um, and so we've got to come out tomorrow and, and play really good um, for two games. So the Generals will play for a title tomorrow. It's going to be a rematch from last year with Houston Victoria. You might remember LSUA won that one a season ago. The Jaguars, though, are undefeated this postseason. So LSUA will need to have two wins tomorrow to claim their second straight title and receive an automatic bid to the regionals. First pitch will be at 1 p.m. And as for Louisiana Christian, their tournament run came to an end today, and now the fate of their season lies in the hands of the NAI Selection Committee. The Wildcats hope to be one of 46 teams called on Wednesday for the regionals, and Louisiana Christian went 36-15 and 15 this season, setting a new school record for wins in a single season. And while head coach Mike Burns might not want to admit this, getting into the regional would also give him a chance to set a own career milestone. Coach Burns currently sits at 499 career wins, and if the Wildcats do make the NEI Regionals for the very first time, he would have a chance to eclipse that 500 win mark. They will find out their fate on Wednesday.